Hey guys, bringing you another do-it-yourself key repair video today. I'm working on an HP Pavilion 15N uh, computer, and I'm going to show you how to take off a normal size key today and put it on safely, uh, both without breaking it. The reason why we're doing this and not replacing the entire keyboard is because many of your keyboards like this are French inset keyboards. They're held on by little plastic rivets and not screws. So I cannot just remove this, insert a new keyboard, and seal it up nice and tight. I have to snap all these off, in effect breaking it, so the next keyboard that goes down, when you put this metal piece over it, it's not very secure, it's, it's loose. Uh, some people resort to putting electrical tape all over it to hold it down, but it's not an ideal repair. That's why when you lose a key or one breaks, uh, I, I prefer to replace keys as much as possible on these kind of keyboards uh, versus the actual keyboard. Um, if you can't find them loose for sale online, um, look for a used keyboard and, and, and buy that. Then you can take a key off of that and put it onto yours. So I'm going to show you how to take one off safely. Today I'm working on these normal size keys. If you want to see a, a larger key like enter, space, or shift, check the video link below in the description to see how to, how to do one of those. Uh, but I'll show you now how to take off one of these uh, normal size keys. So I'm going to take my flathead screwdriver and I'm going to place it in between the, the keycap, which is this top part, and the retainer clip, which is underneath. And the idea here is for me to hold down the retainer clip while I peel off the keycap so that the clip doesn't bend and break uh, when I'm, I'm taking this off. So I'll show you what it looks like under there after I get it off. So bend it up a little bit, get the screwdriver under there, go across. Okay, so that came off relatively easily. And as you can see, my uh, flathead screwdriver is holding down this black clip. And I fortunately missed the uh, rubber spring component in the center. That's only held on by glue. Um, very hard to get that back down if, if you rip that up. So be, be careful with that. Uh, the retainer clip is going to, um, in most models, will look like this. It's a two-part retainer clip, one outside plastic component, one inside, and they fit together uh, by two little plastic pins in, inside um, towards the middle on, on each side. Uh, they're held down by four metal pins near each corner. In some models, some smaller models, there'll just be one metal pin in the center on, on one side. Uh, but this is generally how you're going to see it laid out. Some clips are black, some are white, uh, some can be clear-ish. So the way to get this up is you're going to look at the pins nearest the edges. So in my case, it's these two on top are closest to the edge. And I'm going to get this off by taking my fingernail and pressing up as much as I can. Try to get as much wiggle room as, as I can while I slowly and gently pry the plastic out from under the metal. And when I get it out, I'll show you the very uh, breakable component that I'm going to try not to break here. So th this is probably where you're going to break it if you do break it in, in this process. So be very careful here. So I'm just going to push up. Get that up there. Okay. So luckily that came up without too much trouble. I'll, I'll move this up so you can see the clip. So right here, if you see this little plastic pin here and this little plastic pin here, that's what I was trying not to break. These are extremely thin, extremely delicate, and they're wedged underneath the, that metal pin. So the idea is, is to get these out from under the, the metal pin. If you just put your screwdriver in there and push up, these will snap right off. And then your retainer clip won't sit securely down in which case when your key snaps onto it, it, it'll keep falling off. So that's your most important step probably there is to not break those when you're taking this off. If these come undone in this process, mine stay together. If they come undone, you can just put them back together. You're going to see two plastic pins on either side of the inner clip that look kind of like these. They fit into holes on the outer clip. Again, be very careful not to break those just like these. Um, and if you need help in if if they came apart and you don't know how to get them back together, you can always take off another cap and then re reference how, how that looks. So in order to put this back on, uh, I took the top off first. Now I'm going to put the bottom down first. So we're going in, in, in kind of reverse. So get that down. I put the bottom in first and slid it underneath its metal uh, clips. And then I've made sure this whole part is relatively centered. Once you get this in somewhat of this position, all you should have to do is push down on either corner and snap it in. Just like that. So that's in there correctly. 
you put your cap back on and same thing you get that centered and then you press just like that and that's how you would fix a small letter key so that's how you would repair this key on an HP Pavilion 15N. Again, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I'll get back to you a couple times a day at least. Uh, please like and share if this was helpful. And please subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer work. Thank you so much for watching, guys.